Hello everyone and welcome to TBGW Fury. I am MTB HKK here with the legendary Eddie Mack. Hi everybody, happy holidays. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the TBGW Triple Crown Champion, Tommy Ventura. Well, Eddie, this is the Triple Crown Champion, Tommy Ventura, a man who has been sneaking his way and to retain his championship over and over again. This guy. Yep. His latest victim was on this the... This guy. Yeah. Am, am, am I allowed to say that? Yes, you are. This fucking guy. I assume you already I, I, know I, what happened to poor Vipok. I, I, I know people can't see it at home, but... Well, guys, I'm back. A winner, naturally. Uh, I wanted to tell you, uh, in case you didn't know, I beat Vipok. It wasn't much of a match, really. I didn't expect to lose. But uh, it's really odd that uh, the loser, the winning prize, is now he's a GM. Of course... I guess you have to be a loser to be a GM. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, that's certainly what happened here, and I'm kind of glad I, I won. <laughs> being a GM is not my idea of wrestling. That's being a businessman. And maybe not even a good one at that. If he's as good a businessman as he is a wrestler, we're all in trouble. And you know, it's coming up here to Revolution, and I, I'm going to be in, in a match, and. I, I don't know who I'm against right now, but it, you know, it really doesn't matter. Because ain't nobody can beat me. Because the last thing I want to do is be a GM. I mean, we're going to have hundreds of GMs around this place if everybody that loses to me becomes a GM. So, uh, I got it. You watch me wrestle and see who the next GM is going to be. What the? Eddie, I, I don't know whose music this is. Wait, wait a, wait a minute! Oh, please, look who was back! The hardcore King of Kings is back! With a new look! Hey, yeah, he's got haircut and everything! Matt Farrow! The former Euro-American champion and former two-time hardcore champion. The biggest trying to say former two-time hardcore champion then perhaps arguably the face of TPGW. One of them, that's for damn sure. But what's he doing out here? Grabbing for a microphone. Woo! Man, that felt good to get off my chest, or I guess off his chin. Ha! I've had a rough couple of months, so a good super kick here or there always cheers me up. So now for the question of what I'm doing back. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. I'm here to win the Triple Crown Championship. Oh, boy! Oh, See, God! Tommy Ventura. Congratulations, you've faced off against Kevin Cash in a classic series, and you beat Vipak. 
I mean, I like the guy, but to be honest, he's just as green as you are when it comes to exactly how big the world of virtual wrestling is. I know, considering my track record over the past couple of months, I'm not really one to talk, but yeah. I just came in and super kicked you right in the jaw and you couldn't do anything but lie there and weep. So v -Puck, I can't promise you that in Revolution 3 you'll get a chance to plant your foot up Tommy Ventura's ass. But you book the match that Smoke won't, and I promise you, my foot will go down his throat. I want Tommy Ventura for the Triple Crown Championship at Revolution. And I promise you, I will seal the deal and put that bastard in his place once and for all. So it has been said, so it shall be written, so is the word and law of the hardcore King of Kings, Matt Farrow. Deepak, if you are listening to me, do it. Seriously, Matt do Farrell it. versus Tommy Ventura? Look, That's a show stealer. Look the shit out of that match right now. Inject that match in my face. Well, we'll find out on live whether or not Deepak will do it, but. The following contest, set for one fall, is for the TPGW Euro American Championship. Oh boy. This is a match that Smoke made last week, Eddie, in retaliation for Beatbox becoming GM of Live. Introducing first the challenger, accompanied the ring by General Manager Smoke from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 232 pounds, George Alpine! Now, if I remember last week on TBGW, Smoke was stripped of his, well, virtually stripped of his general managing duties. In fact, he, in fact, he has just one job now, for the foreseeable future, and that is to, open, to make sure that the main event of Revolution 3 goes off about a hitch, and if it does not, he will be fired. Dangerous he simply has one job. Practically. However, him still being the general manager of Fury, he can still book matches on Fury as he sees fit, at least until Revolution. And I'm pretty sure he's going to get every bit out of his duties in the time he has left. If I know, if I know the smoke, he's going to do everything in his power to make sure that Beatbox's close friend, Zaya Steele, does not retain tonight. And here comes the Big Steel! And his opponent from Denver, Colorado, weighing in at 224 pounds. He is the TBGW Euro American Champion, the Soul Leader, Zaya Steel! Zaya Steel doing what many thought was being was impossible. During World Rumble Week, he captured the Euro American Championship, albeit a little help on the returning CJ Hawkins. But guess what? I'm pretty sure the big steal is not going to apologize for it. Indeed, and let's not forget that we have that CJ Hawkins will be in action later tonight in our final Money in the Bank qualifier against Rex Titus. Nonetheless, the Euro-American Championship is on the line right now. It's George Alpine 
Taking on the champion, Zaya Steele. In our opening bout here on Fury. Here we go! And look at this, the quick lockup here, Eddie. I'll find me. I'll find the small one too, but he's going to have the technical advantage here. And yeah, he used it very much to his advantage there. But hey, he's the, he's the larger of the two, and he's probably going to use his size. But you know, don't let the size fool you. Yes. Yeah, he, look, he, yeah, he's big, but he's also pretty quick too. Yeah, and let's not also forget the experience factor. Alpine is a five year veteran in virtual wrestling. Won the, won the first ever Money in the Bank contract in TPGW, cashed it in in an apocalypse oh. to become world champion. And it took oh. Daniel Stone to beat him. I don't think, uh, don't think Zan cares about, about that all, all that much right now. George right now. Oh! The no. big no. still right back. <laughs> Look. Look out, here comes Alpine. Oh! Snap Tiger Suplex. Let the big steel fight back. Uh-oh. No! Oh! oh! That is just unfair power right there. Indeed, a falling wasteland slam from the big steel. And look at this, the smoke already trying to distract Zay Steel. Looks like Alpine's gonna take advantage, Eddie. Back suplex by, by the self-proclaimed MMA general, but it's <laughs> still fighting right back. Of course, George Alpine, let's not forget that he is, in fact, a former UFC fighter. I, I, I did not know that. Oh my goodness! The MMA general was actually the nickname given to him by the UFC fans. Huh. Hey, oh! Hey, my goodness! Champion right now, all over Alpine right now. As a matter of fact, he was get he almost got an opportunity at a UFC championship. And and now, I'll find out. Short on clothesline. Short on oh. clothesline. Short on clothesline. Now and as, as the smoke jabbers, jabbers on in, in the ear of Zaya, not Zaya, I should say. I'm going to get that name right one day. No! Oh! Sloppy cross body right there from Alpine, but nonetheless yeah, you, effective. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> Alpine probably not a top rope guy. Just, just a word of advice from this handsome gentleman. Stay in your lane. You're welcome. Hey, uh, hey what, what I don't know. I've, I've never been in a ring. I've just, I've just watched a lot of people wrestle in rings. I mean, I feel like I know one. I feel like I should know. I feel like I know what I'm talking about. But that's not oh. anyone there. Alpine fighting back, shots in the midsection. Oh! Oh! Soda Pop Lariat from George Alpine now going up top. I oh, think he's George, looking to you, fly. George, what are you doing? No! Thank you for flying the Air Alpine elbow drop. Wow! Thank God we have a no. new hero. Oh! Oh! oh. But let's not forget, all it takes, Eddie, is that one Alpine knee strike, which I think he's looking for now. Georgie. Oh, no! Oh! The big steal with the reversal. Oh, it's, it's, here we go. Reverse elbow. elbow. Oh, my goodness. And the smoke can only look on and watch. With the cover, one, two. What? That doesn't surprise me at all. 
George Alpine's been in some of the toughest battles I've ever seen. Money in the Bank ladder matches. He's a King of the Ring winner. He's won three fall Hell in a Cell matches. But he's never fought. Let's be honest. None of that compares to being in the ring with the big steel. This is a true statement. Uh, of course it's a true statement. <laughs> Look at the steel just came on me. Left me a bow pun and oh. And Georgie and, tr and Georgie trying to fight his way back into this. <laughs> oh! Suplex by. Looks like my outline now, George. No! Oh! oh! Butterfly cup? Well, that, that, that could not have felt good. No, it could not have. Look out. Alpine. Lock in the arm. Oh! Just, re just wrenched it down in an uncomfortable manner. As he returns the fan. Now the cover. And no! That leg scissors is not working out for. Oh, neck breaker! Neck breaker! Let's do a reversal. I thought I was going for that, but it's counter. Oh, God. Another soda pop lariat from Alpine. He's trying to fight his way back. He's trying to find some way to get the advantage. Now going for the cover. Let's be it. No. Alpine wondering what the hell is he have to do to put this. Hey, hey, George, you might want to get down. That was only two. I'm probably wondering what the hell a guy do to put this guy away. And is he going to try for that knee strike again? And no, Zaya Steele reversing again. Into the roll up. Shoulders oh, down. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. That was close. Here on Fury, we see the best of the best of the men's division. And here we're seeing two of the best in TPGW right now. That man take them by Alpine. And Alpine looking for the... That's such a fun... There was three of them. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh, Reaper's elbow! Reaper's elbow! Good night! Get the smell of sauce for Mr. George Alpine. What? He kicked out again. Hmm. Look, most people don't get up from one Reaper's elbow. George just kicked out of two. I don't know how, exactly how much Alpine's got left. He's now busted open. So are you saying we got a bleeder? Got a bleeder. <laughs> I thought the team to fight back though. Now Georgie. Oh God. Wait, what? what? what Smoke is whispering something to the referee over in the corner. Alpine going for the superplex. He rolls over his room. No. The superplex. Going for the what the hell? What? You see how fast uh, that count was? M MTV? Son of a bitch! What the hell just happened?
Oh, Meepock's gonna have a fit over this one. Oh, oh my God, you, you have no idea. That, that was the great for that one. That was the, that was the second one, and George somehow kicked out, and... The thing, oh, the thing of it is, this match was actually pretty damn good up until that final moment there. Look, Al, look, Alpine, look, Alpine's a child in his entry. I mean, he doesn't need to to win the title via uh, via shenanigans. And look at this match. Here is your winner and the new TPGW Euro American Champion. George Alpine! But with controversy. Garbage. Garbage. I don't even know how you can proud that, George. Well, we're back after some controversy and... Garbage. Garbage. I'm not... Smoke, smoke, smoke and the referee. And George. All three of you should be ashamed. Well, nonetheless, it's time for our final Money in the Bank qualifier. This will decide the eighth man in the match. The following contest is a Money in the Bank qualifying match. Introducing first, from Mobile, Alabama, weighing in at 276 pounds, Rex Titus! Well, Eddie, Rex Titus wasn't successful in the Rumble match like he wanted to be. Well, there's pretty much last opportunity to get on the revolution card, isn't it? I mean, unless, unless, unless he, you know, unless he wins this match, you'll have to... <coughs> Excuse me. Unless he wins this match, you may have to, you may have to buy tickets to Revolution 3. Indeed. Which is a sad thing to say for a man who's main evented the previous two. Doesn't look like a main event will be in the cards, but I'm pretty sure he wants to get on the show, but he's going to have a tough task ahead of him if he wants to get there. After all, his opponent is the higher standard, the ultimate veteran, C.J. Hawkins. 
and a man who has been the bane of Malik Brown for the past couple of weeks. And his opponent, from Williamstown, New Jersey, weighing in at 220 pounds, the ultimate veteran, C.J. Hawkins! Well, Eddie, there you see him. I will say this, I've been following personal wrestling for about a decade, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, ladies and gentlemen. This will be my first time ever calling a C.J. Hawkins match. Well, Eddie, you're in for a treat. I've called many Hawkins matches, both in the old days of TPWF and nowadays in TPGW. The former TPWF World Heavyweight Champion. C.J. Hawkins has taken on giants. He's taken on extremists. He's taking on legends. He's taking on icons. And for the first time ever, CJ Hawkins will go one-on-one -on -one with Rex Titus. This is a revolution caliber bout right here, Eddie. We are not kidding. This real the old saying of you know this match can man man pretty much anywhere in the world. One could even call this our John Cena versus Shinsuke Nakamura. And here we go! Shot at Revolution on the line. Rex Titus, oh god, oh god, oh! Damn it! Rex Titus, after the year he's had, has everything to prove. Whereas I've talked to CJ Hawkins backstage and got a little bit of insight into what the Ultimate Veteran's been doing sabotaging Malik Brown's matchups. Yeah, Hawkins can't afford... Oh! He can't afford to get his... Hawkins cannot afford to get his focus away from the task at hand. Even though, even though Malik, Malik Brown's looking over his shoulder and that's a pretty huge shadow. He's got to focus on what is in the ring right now and that's... Wait a minute, Hawkins! And Hawkins in full control, at least for the time being. And there's a quick DDT. Like I was saying, Eddie, I talked to Hawkins backstage. Hawkins said when he came back to TPGW, it was all about helping the younger talent. Trying to get them over against one of the biggest names in virtual wrestling history. Essentially, he said Malik oh. Brown came along and started to ruin that. He became the guy that started putting people down, started, ta started taking the business for himself. Uh, oh, hey, hang on now, Hawkins. Yeah, I'm about tired. So, let's, let, let's be honest. Well, let's be honest. While well, Malik has been very, very su successful, let's be honest. The business could use more people like C.J. Hawkins. I mean, virtual wrestling is a young <clears throat> virtual. I've, I've said it for, I've said it for quite some time. Virtual wrestling is a young man's game. It, eventually, at some point, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be gone, and you know you're gonna be gone, and. You know, you gotta make you gotta make sure you leave the business better than oh better than when you came in and you know prepping for the next for the next um group of people, you know what I mean? Last shadow of a doubt. Oh! Bro kick oh, from Rex! Oh Lord. And Rex Titus, look at this! Hell's gate! Well that's gonna be it! Long is in trouble here! Hawkins, whoa, whoa, wait a minute! Oh. Hawkins fought his way out of the Hell's Gate. Oh, he... He was in, he was in dire... He was in dire straits there. Oh, wait a minute, Hawkins, damn it! Yeah, Hawkins was in dire straits there. 
Hey, Hawkins was lucky to fight his way out, and now we got SRH joining us at the commentary booth. Holy crap, this has been a back and forth contest if I've ever seen one. Last shout out down, and here comes Hawkins flying off the ropes. Here he comes, huge oh, for us. Ah, for once, the TPTW office here in Whoa. the arena. Oh, ooh, ooh. he oh, missed man. the Phoenix Flash. That is bad times there. No water in the pool for Hawkins. And as I was about to say, finally, TPGW's office in the arena had uh, some decent coffee. Oh, but it ain't about that. I, I consider the coffee kind of tainted after what the smoke pulled earlier tonight, SRH. Garbage, man. Oh, that's a good thing. It's a good thing I brought my own creamer. And Hawk. Nope. Missed the scoop slide. Neck, Neck break. Neck break. Neck break. I'm still going to say it feels nice saying that without hearing them. Neck breaker. Whoa. Uh oh. Hawkins. 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 Oh. Fear. Oh. Hawkins not wasting any time taking the fight to one of the most vicious individuals in TPGW history. Holy hell! Sorry, I had to do that. Hey, it's appropriate. Hawkins taking it! And now the West cover. Is and now he's gonna oh. cover it. No, not even a one count. What? That's Rex Titus for you. He's formerly the super, oh, super soldier. He got that name for a reason. Good One time. of the most resilient men Indeed. in virtual wrestling, arguably. Indeed, two-time TPWF world champion. And we see this dragon sleeper hold applied to Rex Titus, the big man to apply that to him now. Titus getting out of it. Thank you. Oh. Goodness, here's goes on. Ugh. Clothesline that made Stan Hansen blush just now and a knee to the gut and a punch right to the gut. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Bro! I smoke good. And now we're just back to the Hell's Gate again. We may have, we may have Hawkins dead right here, but Hawkins is just out reaching the ropes. Unfortunately, he kind of can't see him right now. Oh, no. Did Hawkins escape that, or did Rex Titus give him a sympathy escape? I think Rex thought he had him knocked out. Hold, hold, hold up, though. Serious question. Oh. How is this referee still... How is this man still refereeing right now? That is a good question. Let's not forget this is Fury. It is technically under the smoke's control. Oh. German. It's unfortunate it's not under my control. I'll leave it at that. You're just wanting to take over everything, aren't you, Eddie? Uh, well, that's so much take over everything. Oh! Oh! oh again! Oh, that's, Phoenix Clash. that's so much as take. That's so much take over everything as you know. So much as you know, set shit right. Well, it wouldn't be wrestling without a corrupt GM. That's true. Eric yeah. Bischoff said controversy creates cash. Look, Look at Hawkins. this. You know what controversy creates? Pure wrestling companies. Look at this. Uh, a, a leg bar here from Hawkins going to work. Oh. Ow. And of course the tree trunk boot from Rex Titus. This Rex. Ow. Massive tiger suplex right there. I, I, I think this is done. One, two, and no. Oh, Hawkins will not stay down. Uh, Hawkins is made of adamantium. Yeah, no, this is probably. I think every I think everybody in this Fed is made of adamantium. Oh no, Rex F five. Oh, tornado warning. 
evacuate the building. That was a vicious F5. Now it's cover. One, two, it's over. Rex Titus will once again go to Revolution. Oh, and he, and I, I tell you what, he, he may have blew off the line, ladies and gentlemen. He might be the favorite now in that Money in the Bank match. Rex Titus. Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. Who do we have in the Money in the Bank now? We have Thunderlord match. We have Thunderlord We have Rex Titus. We have Rex Titus. We have Raven Dark, Louis Marino, Mal Ryan. Oh, my God. Josh Gunner. So pretty much. And Dr. Dream. <laughs> Mal, Mal and Dr. Dream, and Louis Marino are going to get eaten by everybody else. Pretty much. That's Here's gonna your be winner, Rex Titus. That's going to be a buffet line for the big men in that match. One, what a battle. Guys, you may be right. Rex may be the favorite going in to that Money in the Bank ladder match. What the? Isn't it great? Isn't it great how CJ Hawkins has to stay relevant yet again? So now he gets into my business because just like Matt Farrell, I called him out. But the difference between me and Matt Farrell is that I'm going to actually get the job done when I beat you because, CJ, your very existence is a problem. Because if you trace back your career, what truly have you done? I mean, I got nothing much to say. I, I didn't have a long wrestling career like most people but at least when i got in the ring i made it count you you barely had anything when you were in coh oh yeah somebody threw you a bone here and there awf you're trying to stay alive with an equally mediocre brent thompson BYU? Oh, yeah, you were there. But that's been your entire career. You have been doing nothing but swimming in the pool of mediocrity ever since you laced up a pair of boots. And now you want to make yourself out to be a legend. A legend of what? If there is any kind of legend around here in TPGW right now, it's me. I'm the guy that busts my ass every single night. I'm the guy with more of a name than half of everybody here. Because I put in the work. I didn't just get by with a name and some half-ass five-star matches that people will call a five-star match. No, every match I've ever been in is a goddamn hit out of the park. You barely can even make it worth somebody's time. And now, for twice in a row, you cost me something important. You cost me the Your American title. You cost me my match against the highest deal. You also cost me a Money in the Bank opportunity because you can't stomach the fact that I'm right. Now, you may think of me as some other Matt Farrow who's calling you a has-been or anything, but Matt Farrow is generous because you had to be somebody to be a has-been. You are nobody, CJ. You've always been a nobody. Hell, when people look into the panels and in the record books, do you know that people mistake you for Jason Hawkins? Or people mistake you for CJ Wizard? 
Nobody remembers C.J. Hawkins. And even if they did, all they would remember is it that guy that's a tag team with Britt Thompson and AWF. Other than that, nobody knows C.J. Hawkins. And at Revolution, I will make sure that nobody remembers the name of C.J. Hawkins because I know that you don't back down from anything and neither do I. So right here, right now, in front of God and all of his creation, I say, meet me at Revolution, C.J., because you and I are going to get in that ring. And I am going to rip your head clean off your body. Because I am Malik Brown. The... <laughs> no, 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 not the mayor. Not the mayor. Not the king. Not the leader. No, 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 no. I am the violence party. TPGW is going to air its very first snuff film at Revolution. Because CJ, I'm going to take your head off. But Dwyer style.
Oh my god. Yeah. Holy crap. I think. I think it's official. Yeah, we just got word from the back. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Lexington, Kentucky. Weighing in at 251 pounds. Josh Gunner! Well, Josh Gunner's set for action, but that's all right, Josh. I just got word from the back. The smoke made official. At Revolution 3. For the first time ever in virtual wrestling history, it'll be Malik Brown versus CJ Hawkins. Oh my god. A dream match of dream match is the only thing that would make it sweeter. We threw in Extreme Tony there. But nonetheless, Josh Gunner set for action tonight. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Holy water! Holy water! <laughs> Killing time! No, it's holy water time. Representing Ashura from Westbrook, Maine, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Nightmare, Duncan Vermel. Well, the Nightmare set for action here tonight, SRH. Absolutely. And after his vicious assault on Daniel Stone last week. The Nightmare better have eyes in the back of his head. He also better not put uh, Josh... Or he better not take Josh Gunner lightly. I mean, remember, Josh Gunner got to the game by being somebody who arguably is vicious. Probably one of the most vicious wrestlers we've got here. Sans Duncan. A different Duncan though. This is the Ashura Field Duncan, let's not forget. And Gunner's gonna find that out the hard way, I think. Duncan just slapped Josh Gunner like his daddy should have. And oh! On the nuts right to the nog. And Duncan oh. firing back here. Here's my question. Why is Duncan with Ashra? That is a damn good question. One that we oh. still don't know the full answer to. Duncan says... Duncan says he's not with Ashra. Ashra's with him. Okay. I mean, that's... That sounds like something. Duncan. That's something. Not really an answer. Oh! Cut up! Josh Gunner with the neck snap there. Trying to take the fight to Duncan as best as he can. He's doing a pretty good job of it. Torquing the leg right there. And now Gunner. Oh. And sweep there. And now Duncan piling on the assault. Higher sweep here. Let's not forget that the nightmare. Control. Let's not forget that the nightmare formally challenged Daniel Stone on live last week. 
That, that's Everyone, true. And as far as I know, that match has been accepted to be no holds barred at Revolution. Now the question is, which one of them has a death wish? Right now, I think Josh Gunner does. Yeah, it's but looking that way. But this is shaping up to be the biggest revolution ever, and Duncan choke slam. You see, Duncan was letting Josh Gunner doing that misery there before this. No oh, demon horns. I don't think he's done yet, SRH. No. No, he's not. He's taking apart that table. And Duncan ripping that table to shreds. He's got something planned in mind for Josh Gunner, and knowing the nightmare, it's not going to be good. Wait, Duncan as in Duncan is Duncan unless it's Duncan? That's right. Yes. As in the new face of Ashra, oh. Duncan. Yeah, that's the second thing you took apart. What? I mean, you, you, you've got the man beat. I mean, come on. Wait. Oh. Wait. Oh. Rubez Press pulls it up with the punches and... Right hands. Right hands. Right hands. We got a bleeder. We have bleeder. Oh. Eddie, I don't think you've ever called a Duncan match before, have you? Uh, I have not. Yeah, he. I think he does this for fun. Oh! Welcome to the party. Got cupcakes and cookies. Nah, I, I, I'm gonna die. I'm good. Thanks. Okay. You see, Josh Gunner trying his damnedest to fight back, and now he's rallying the crowd behind him. Yeah, hey, this, this is a mistake. Hey, you can't. Doing? Oh no! Uh, Goozle! Up! Toast Bam. slam! Toast slam! This is why you don't take your eyes off Duncan. That is the, that is the f most foolish thing you could possibly do. Oh! oh God! What a boot! That'll do it. No, no, he's not done. Of course he's not done. I think the only reason Duncan sided himself with Ashura was to make himself more vicious. Oh no. Wait! Josh Gunner trying to... trying to stand on his toes with... Oh god! Oh boy, oh boy! And Eddie, like we were saying, Duncan Vermel will be taking on Daniel Stone at Revolution 3. And I think you missed this, Eddie. But it was officially confirmed that Malik Brown will face C.J. Hawkins at Revolution 3 for the first time ever. Nice! Can't wait for that. That's oh, here's, here's another oh, thing. Wait, we, no, no, I, I was here for that, but yeah. That's oh, Gunner Stunner! Gunner Stunner! Ah, Stunner! Yeah, let's do it! Is that a one count? I no. don't even know if that was a one. I think there was I think there was air between the between the canvas and the rest oh, hand. Yes, I, I, I'm pretty sure Duncan kicked out of one, my dude. What are you doing? Oh There's one thing there's one thing I can attest to is that card is always subject to change and it might we might have to crown some oh wait DDT I was gonna say we might have to crown another contender in that Money in the Bank qualifying match. That's right, Josh Gunner is supposed to be a part of it. He needs to find some way to either win this match or run away as far as he freaking can. Not get hurt. At the very at, at, not not get hurt, worst case scenario, win the match, best case scenario. Apparently right now it, it appears neither of these things will be oh, happening. Oh god. Oh no. No. Oh, oh dear. no. Oh dear. Oh! 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 With one arm. Well, that's why I say Duncan is Duncan. Unless it's Duncan. And right now, Duncan very much is Duncan right now. Spine 
Buster. Oh. The man can put Duncan can put this away anytime he wants, but as you mentioned, MTB, he, he just he, he 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 enjoys us. And like you said, you said it yourself, he can put this away anytime he oh god, wants. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Demon horns! God Almighty in heaven! What can I say? Fans love a table spot. Stop. Stop encouraging that shit. What's wrong with you people? I mean, come on. Have, have they not seen the CCL Summer Madness? Have they not seen the tournament? Have they encouraged sure this? a table spot in the Summer Madness tournament. I, I could... No, but there was a lot of concussion shots. None of your... Well, nonetheless, this one's over by countout. Duncan making sure that Gunner knew exactly why you don't, you don't get in his path. There it is, the demon horn. God. See, Josh Gunner unable to get on his feet to crawl back in. Here's your winner, Duncan Vermil. He probably saved himself by not even trying to get up much quicker. Wait a minute! What, 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 what? We know this music, SRH! And those fireworks. Oh, oh my god! Oh. It's the man Duncan tried to take out last week, and his opponent at Revolution, the All-American Outlaw. I think and we're about to running. see a fight, guys. Here we go. Oh. Daniel Stone. He's a man with talent to be able to fight like that with his towel still around his neck. Well, angry, well, angry man can do, well, angry man type things. And Daniel Stone is an angry man right now. I can't blame him. But no, Duncan, you can't. Duncan put him through hell last weekend. Daniel Stone's wanting to repay. Oh. Repay Duncan's death. German. Another German. That's German number two. That's a third one. He's telling Duncan to bring it. How many men can he say goes up to Duncan into his yard, tells him to bring it, and actually holds water in the situation? That is a damn good question, SRH. It's something we are finding out right quick right now. But look at this, Duncan. He just took six Germans and ow! Oh! oh god. Well this is good. Oh. This, this is gonna be an absolute war at Revolution 3. Dean, we're getting kind of a preview of it right now. <laughs> Daniel Stone and Duncan Vermel are trying to destroy each other. And Daniel's toe just stopping a muddle in him. And so forth and so on. And now Duncan has Daniel trying. Oh, my goodness. He's, he's right. These two might not make it to Revolution 3. Some tells me if they have it their way, they'll fight all the way to Revolution 3. Uh oh. Also true. And Stone. He wants Duncan back up. And oh! oh. And Duncan! German of his own! For the German of his own! Oh god, oh god, oh god! Daniel Stone landing hard on his leg there. And oh no. 
Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is bad for Daniel. Oh god. Oh god! Oh, no, Last no. ride! Daniel Stone stepped into it's Duncan's yard, and Duncan just put him in his place. And Duncan is not done. Wait. Daniel, he dodged it. Oh, oh! Right across the skull of the nightmare. And Daniel, Daniel Stone. Stone not stay down. One. Oh, oh we know. No, uh, that's. It's uh, eight. eight. <laughs> and then nine on the chair. <laughs> oh, my God. This isn't even the official match yet, and these two are already destroying each other. Daniel Stone. <laughs> Walked into Duncan's yard, peed in it, and told Duncan, what are you going to do about it? And Duncan's doing something about it, but Daniel Stone. Then is that all he got? Ow! Right now it's a back and forth, these two exchanging blows, and oh, God. That kick to the gut. Oh! <laughs> Look, I, I love One lucky it. fan I got a close it. view of Duncan there. Oh! Oh! Brain oh! Up oh! The pattern was right there, a few inches to the left, and Duncan's head would be driven into concrete. Oh god, oh god! Uncle Slam! Oh! Uncle Slam! Right into the concrete! Oh no, no. If Daniel Stone hits this. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Ow! Oh! He's headed to steal! <laughs> Daniel Stone, back with a vengeance! This is going to be an absolute war.
Tonight's main event is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Taylor Blaze and Sergeant Ghost, representing the new guard from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 228 pounds, Patrick Wolf. Well, guys, tonight Patrick Wolf will be representing the new guard, taking on the Royal Rumble winner, Kevin Cash. And of course, it will be Kevin Cash challenging Tommy Ventura and Revolution. I think you meant Tony oh. Gordon there, Eddie. <laughs> Thank you, Tony Gordon, for the TBGW Triple Crown World Championship. <laughs> for the World Championship. Thank you. We have a lot of titles. I understand. It gets me <laughs> I'll get it right one day, kid. Coming to coming to world champion, that opportunity will come on New Year's Eve. As I focus on tonight, and this our main events of TPGW Perry, and it is Patrick Paul versus Kevin Cash. Oh, and Cash with a quick elbow right there. These two have had a couple of battles this year, Eddie. Cash coming out on top in every single one of them. Patrick Wolf, of course, recently losing the Cruiserweight Championship to Frost. Yeah, that was uh, during World War Rumble Week not too long ago. Indeed. And Cash now. Oh, Look at, oh, Bally, oh you. God! Well, now. Kevin Cash. Cash not wasting any time whatsoever. And look at this! So the world head scissors from Kevin Cash. Kevin Cash not playing around tonight, guys. Cash has a message to send to the new guard and to Tony Gordon. Oh! Of course, he has more to fare at ringside. There'll be some of the combatants in the 10-team tag team turmoil match at Revolution. Northern Lights. Patrick Wolf. Wait, did you say 10 team tag team turmoil? That's right. That match was beat yes. by Beatpock last week on live. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, yo. Where that chair come from, though? I'll give you one guess. I'll give you two guesses. Taylor Blazer. Oh, come oh. on. What? What? Oh, God. Are we, are we not? Are we not calling that? The referee was distracted by Taylor Blaze. Fire this referee, man. Fire this referee. Fire this. I, I know VPAC's watching this. That referee, you need to fire him. I'm just saying. No! Oh! And <laughs> Kevin Cash! Well. Oh, oh fair play, play there. there. And no! Okay. That was absolutely insane. Kevin Cash using the chair to his advantage. Technically, he didn't hit him with it. Patrick Wolf hit himself with it. 
no, not even a one count off that discus elbow. Down cash. Dragon screw. Oh, and there's a quick drop kick right to the knee right there. Whoa, guys, out. guys, guys. I just got word from the back from VPOC. Oh, oh, oh. Did you know? Is the referee fired following tonight's show? He is not, but... If oh! Pat but if Patrick Wolf loses this match tonight, the new guard will be banned from ringside in the main event of oh. Revolution. Oh, that is, that is your oh. shit. And he'll also have something splashed. to say about the smoke actions on live. He did say the referee Blue Shoes is on thin ice, though. My, my boy, is everybody colorblind there? That Those shoes are red. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. They're, they're blue. Oh, they're, 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 the arrow there. They're red, sir. Uh, uh, I'm just talking about referee Purple Shoes. Uh, they're, they're red. They're, they're probably maroon. Perhaps maroon. No! Oh! I was talking about some nice shoes. The man should be fired right there. I'm just saying. German suplex by Wolf. And now Patrick Wolf has got all new stakes. He has to somehow beat Kevin Cash for the first time in his career. And something tells me that's uh -oh. not going to happen. Uh oh. Suicidal plunge. Oh. oh. Wait, look at, look at Blaze. Get down. Oh. Turn around, ref! Yeah, he, he did not be for three. He had to be for at least six. If not six, at least five. And now Patrick Wolf is back up. Oh no! Oh! The Olympic slam, and I think Patrick Wolf is looking to end this with the Fang suplex. Oh! No. Or not. Cash reversal into the Slam Mission. Slam Mission submission hold from Kevin Cash. That's going to be it. You can see the look of, of fear on Sergeant Ghost's face when that hold just got applied. Or maybe disgust. Speaking of Sergeant Ghost, I think he's got something to say about it. Trying to distract Kevin Cash at ringside. And look at this, Patrick Wolf. I think he's looking for the extreme buzzsaw kick now. Rev him up. Kevin Cash! No! Oh! Oh! Good night! With the cover! Oh, come on! What the fuck? My boy! Ow! Oh! Whisper in the wind! Followed by the best moons on the world. Wait a minute. Finally the referee doing his job and ejecting Sergeant Ghost. I think I think the referee may have just saved his job. I think Tail Tail should be going too, I think. No, he only ejected Ghost. Look out! Oh! Wait a oh. minute. I'm Wolf now. Cash now. Oh. First TT there. And guys, can we just point out the fact that Cash still has both members of Mortifera in his corner? Oh. Let me point out that I kicked to your inner thigh hurts. Good place, my wolf. Wolf uh, potentially playing the mind game strategy and going into the Mortifera corner with the elbow drop. That's right. Let's not forget Patrick Wolf and Taylor Blaze will be representing the new guard in that turmoil match. Whoa, wait a minute. Cash is up. Patrick Wolf reversal, though. Cash. 
Low line. Low line. Low line. Low line. Low line. Low line. Oh. Leg sweep kick. He kicked his leg out of his leg. Again. And Cash. The claims are higher. He done did oh. the diddly done did diddly done deal. And it, oh. And it, oh the best moonsault in the world. And everything it does. And going for a second. Suicidal Suicide plunge. plunge. Oh. It will indeed break your spine. Cover one, one, two, two. Um. good night. Cash with it, even his old retro theme song saying a message that his legacy, his destiny, will be defined at Revolution 3. Now the new guard is banned from ringside. Oh, that changes the complexion of that match in a huge way. Absolutely. Look at this. Sick. God, that is a suicidal plunge. Then Patrick Wolf fighting back with the Olympic slam. Oh, I'm sorry, the Curry Angle Hall of Fame slam. Ooh. And then the second suicidal plunge. That's what. That's what finished the match here. Kevin Cash with a huge win. And Tony Gordon will have only himself. Here's your winner, Kevin Cash. To look out for. At Revolution 3. Indeed, what a coup from Kevin Cash. Wait a minute! Uh oh! Tony oh Gordon! My. What is he doing here? Cat, look at this! Sergeant Ghost just came out of the crowd! Him and Taylor Blaze are fighting more to Farah. And Tony Gordon! Oh go, oh go, oh go! Oh! Neck breaker! Tony Gordon saying a message to Cash, you can ban my you can ban my team from ringside, but you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Oh god. Ow! Yeah, yeah two guys going on at once! And Gordon. Where are they going? Oh, oh God! Oh my God, Torture 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 Torture. Look at him handle Cash like a rag doll. Could that be his fate? And re oh, wait a minute. Oh no. What is Gordon doing? He's dropping the beat. Oh god, oh god, oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Tony Gordon with a message.